Hey solo sportsters, I'm here today at Crest Hollow in Woodbury, New York during this crazy hot New York heat wave to show you the Lacoste L20 tennis racket. They normally make apparel and other things. This is their first crack at tennis rackets for a long time. So let's take it on court and see how these play. Lacoste makes its comeback to tennis rackets for the first time since 1933 when Renee first made a racket. And now in this partnership with Technofiber, they've introduced the L20, which has a standard head size of 100 square inches, an unstrung weight of 290 grams, which equates to 10.2 ounces, a swing weight of 304, making it seven points head light, with a firm stiffness of 69, an open string pattern of 16 mains and 19 crosses, 27 inches long, and a beam of 22.5, 24, and 23.5 millimeters. It comes in a classy green and teal with components of Lacoste heritage featured in the alligator skin texture on the frame. Lacoste L20 is the perfect all-around racket for the player looking to make a statement on the court. On my ground strokes, I found that the racket didn't really blow me away in any categories, but it also didn't lack anything either. Spin, power, control, and feel were all accessible at my fingertips using this racket. It was incredibly stable given the high flex and the X-damp technology in the handle, which was originally developed by Rene Lacoste decades ago still exists in the racket to today, providing a smooth ride of shock absorption. The x damp system consists of a proprietary elastomer sleeve around the handle and metal weight in the end cap to counter impact. This technology comes from the Lacoste tradition, however, the racket is manufactured in partnership by Technofiber, using their vast resources and attention to detail. Although only a mere two models were released to the whole Lacoste racket lineup, they are very universal pertaining to a large audience and come with a full selection of grips, shock absorbers, and bags to match. This racket worked well on my slice, approach shots, and half volleys transitioning to the net. It was maneuverable and quick, allowing me to adjust on those quick reaction shots. Once at net, volleys were flush and easy to control. I struggled to clear balls off the court, but with this light to mid-weight setup, I did keep more balls in play. If you like consistency versus offense, then this racket is a good fit for you at the net. Overall, this racket scored so-so in our Solo Sports graded review. It is clear that the fashion brand Lacoste wanted to make a striking racket with their luxury price point to match, and they have completely succeeded. The attention to detail and elegance on the racket is extremely apparent and has not been seen on a racket until this point. Sadly, they did not focus much on performance, and the racket is simply solid all around with little to boast about. Similar rackets are the Babolat Pure Strike Team, Wilson Blade 100L, Head Speed Team, Yonix E-Zone 100L, or Selenko Whiteout 290. Beginners and intermediate players rated 2.5 or higher looking to make a splash at the country club or in their regular doubles game would be the intended audience for this comprehensive racket. It even makes the perfect gift for that hard to shop for tennis aficionado that has it all. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching our review of the new Lacoste Rackets, the first edition since Lacoste made them himself many years ago. If you want to learn about some other equipment, you can check right here. And then we hope to see you in the next video.